On one end of a hospital hallway, the accompanying secretary held her phone in one hand and a report in another, presenting from the document. Yin Shishi, 18 years old, a student. Your father was negligent in his business and went bankrupt. According to investigations, all information is correct. Your overall physical condition is proven fit by the medical tests, and there won't be any issue regarding your custody rights. This girl was regrettably unable to meet the conditions for in vitro fertilization. Then, they could only seek an alternative method. Yun Shishi sat still on the bench. She gazed at the scenery outside the window. Her expression was strangely calm, yet deep within her watery eyes was complete darkness. Although the young lady's delicate features made her seem even younger, her tender face, as if she had experienced many vicissitudes of life, showed a look that was incompatible to her age. She was the chosen one the one in a million. Because of her aesthetically pleasing visuals, the remuneration provided by her employer was generous. The sum of $5 million was already astronomical to her. Three days ago, she secretly signed a contract without her father's knowledge, and then she was brought over to this location. She was locked inside this room every day and was forbidden from contacting anyone outside and even more so, from going out, as though she were a quarantined patient. She knew that, in order to prepare her for pregnancy, they needed to ensure her health, so that her body would be better suited to carry the baby. The three meals made for her a day were extremely exquisite. Ham, bacon, bread, beef, Everything was almost too extravagant. She knew that those foods were beneficial to people preparing for pregnancy, so even though she did not like to eat them, she could only forcefully swallow them down. Yun Shishi dared not disobey any orders, as absolute obedience was one of the conditions stated in the contract. Thus, even today, she faithfully followed her employer's secretary and anxiously came to this private institute to undergo medical examinations. This employer of hers was very mysterious. She had not seen him even once. She only knew of the contract, and that signing it would entitle her to a remuneration of 5 million yuan. This amount should be enough to help her father overcome the financial crisis. She did not dare to mention this matter to her father. When she left, she only left behind a note and did not say a word of goodbye. Because of the lengthy period of surrogacy, she would probably be unable to go back home anytime soon. Thus, she temporarily did not have to worry about facing her father's apprehension. According to one of the conditions in the contract, she needed to be put under close observation all the time until she conceived. When this condition was met, before the next day, one million dollars would be deposited in advance to her father's bank account. She would be paid an extra sum if she bore a baby boy as mentioned by the secretary. Surrogacy. Ha! Huh. It was laughable. She had thought of everything to earn money, but selling her body had never been one of them. However, since it was a large sum, she could not help but be moved by it. In financial straits, she chose this road look down on. By the sea, a luxurious sea suite villa. The villas around this area were presented with the best views and thus, the exorbitant land prices were a given. After a simple tidying up, an extravagant limousine brought her to the villa. The vehicle quickly departed after she was given some instructions. The secretary told her that tonight, he would arrive. Yun Shishi took a deep breath. She was no longer in the mood to appreciate the beautiful sea view. She tugged at her luggage and entered the villa with a heavy heart. Night fell. In a luxurious bedroom, the curtains were tightly drawn and blocked all the lights. Within the silent room, she took a bath and quietly lay down in the king-sized bed. She was requested to wear a blindfold. She lost her sense of sight, yet her sense of hearing was greatly enhanced. She could even hear the sea breeze blowing and the waves crashing onto the shore. Without the blaring lights and the hustle and bustle of the city, the silence could make one's hair stand on end. 